In this video we're going to look at how we get our player sprite to destroy our enemy sprite. Now as we've already done we've created some events in our event sheet that allows the enemy to destroy the player when it comes into contact with it. But now we want to make it that when the player comes into contact with it, it kills the enemy. So we're going to look on this at the moment and you'll see that when it interacts with it, it kills the player. Now we want to change that, or we want to add another event. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to add event, and we're going to do player, and then on collision with another object, we're going to choose the enemy, and then we're going to add another condition here. So we're going to go add another condition on the right click, and we're going to go player, and then up in the search area, or if you can find it down here, is falling, and we click next, and then we're going to add an action, which is going to be to destroy the enemy. So we can click on an enemy, and then we go down to destroy, and then click next. And then if we run that, it should be that now when we jump and fall on it, it still destroys the player. That's because we need to add another event to our player up here. So we're going to add another condition and we're going to do player and then is falling and then click next. But this time what we're going to do is we're going to go up and we're going to right click on platform is falling and change it to invert which means if the player is not falling so therefore when the player will fall on top of the enemy it will only destroy the enemy and not the player so as you can see here on the player hitting the enemy if he's not falling it kills the player and if he's falling it kills the enemy